someone picked up an 18% stake in Smash. Who is the general? Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar is the right answer. The Rajgiri National Business Quiz is an annual mega event hosted by Rajagiri Center for Business Studies at their Valley Campus in Kochi. The Rajagiri National Business Quiz was first conducted in 2010 with an aim to bring together the best corporate and student teams from across the country. This quiz is one of the largest student-driven events conducted at a national level. The corporate and student teams compete separately in the tournament and come together only in the final round. The 2013 edition promised to be as exciting, if not more, than the previous editions and the guests inaugurating this year's edition shared the same sentiment. I am really thrilled and excited to find that, you know, there have been a huge response right from the day it was started, both from the corporate sector and also from the various uh, premier institutions. And we find the exhibition of real uh, talent coming up in the competitions that you see. It's going to be a, 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 a very keenly fought contest uh, with uh, enthusiasm uh, from all the sides. So my best wishes to all the participants. And uh, let's see, let's open and see a real tough competition, a real fine exhibition of knowledge. The fourth edition of RNBQ. The Rajagiri National Business Quiz began in earnest with the first semi-final comprising teams from leading Indian educational institutions. We have I am Ahmedabad, Amarjeet Chauhan and Gaurav Datu. <laughs> Team B today, we have Government Law College, Kutchin, Jis Sebastian and Fenny Jai. Last table number C, we have St. Thomas College, Pala, George and Jitin Xavier. And last table number 4, all the way from Indore, I am Indore, Deepthi Singh and Amaya Talanki. And as table number 5, ICAI Chennai, Tio Thomas and Arun Benny. As table number 6, Christ University, Himadri Banerjee and Siddharth Nahar will be table number 6. Last table number seven, we have SIMC Pune, Arjun Krishna and Ashish Vaswani. Final team in this student semi-finals at Rajgiri National Business Quiz, College of Engineering, Talasheri, Arjun and Abhijit. I am Ahmedabad, first question to you. This guy put sex back into that limp thing. The teams were evenly matched as they fought it out for the two coveted spots in the finals. Chidambaram. P. Chidambaram. Passing you, Christ University, Bangalore. Raghuram Rajan. Who is Raghuram Rajan? The RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan plus 10 to Christ University, Bangalore. And as we move into the final round of the student semis, we move into speed test. Nine questions, all questions will be on the buzzer. Plus 10 for a right answer and minus 10 for a wrong answer. Question number 1. The sky wheel is the largest Ferris world in India. The wheel is parked. Is Vigalent. The question was which group? Which means that's minus 10 to you, it's College of Engineering, Talsheri. Question number 2. How do we better know Florence Nightingale? Elizabeth Arden. How do we better know Florence Nightingale Graham in the world of business? And you said Elizabeth Arden. Plus 10 to you, Government Law College. <laughs> Let's remember just two teams go into the grand finale from here. And which means that Christ University is kind of safe. But there's a huge battle there for second place. Holland Herald or Holland Herald is the in-flight magazine of which SIMC? KLM. Holland, KLM, plus 10. <laughs> Working really well under pressure, SIMC, as we move to the last question of this semi-finals. And it's been a wonderful performance by all the eight teams. But I think there can't be a more contextual question to decide the top two teams today. Final question, which is the first tier two city 
in India to be granted a metro. SIMC tier 2 Ahmedabad Ahmedabad If you would read between the lines of what I said earlier I said it can't be a more contextual question to end this corporate could student semi finals and I must say that is the wrong answer SIMC that's minus 10 to you which is going to make the scoreboard look very interesting we have a huge tie to break between three teams government law college icai and simc pune we're going to be cursing themselves for that negative they took on that last question each one of them on 30 points and we'll have a quick tiebreaker to decide who's the, which is the second team that will go into the grand finale but for now christ university is safe and sound as they move into the grand finale question Number one, this plant arrived in India through Portuguese and Spanish explorers who had visited Brazil. These explorers had found a plant named mandioca. The starch of this plant derives, yes, tapioca, derives its name from the Tupi language, extensively used in the Kerala cuisine. How do we better know this plant? At some level, it's really nature's leveler that he got Kochi wrong and got tapioca right. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, SIMC Pune will go into the grand finale along with Christ University. And that's a big, big challenge waiting for them. But for now, we're done with the student semi-finals. Now all eyes were on the second semi-final featuring corporate teams. Exciting student round. We have the top eight corporate teams today. We'll do a quick introduction and move into a very, very interesting final. As table number one, we have Chennai Silts, Yogesh Pai and Anuradha Pai. As table number two, we have Manipal Group, Kumar Saurabh and Ajit Kulkarni. As table number three, Oracle represented by Mitesh Agarwal and Yagneshwar. As table number four, we have Jai Kantan and Pranav representing TCS. As table number five, it's Amit and Dharmedar from Indian Bank. As table number six, Sachin Ravi and Raghav Chakravarti will represent ICICI Bank. And on table number seven, Genpak, Rohan Khanna and Leo Thomas. And to finish this fantastic lineup, we have Yet another team from TCS, Priyambad Patnayak and Praveen Verma as table number 8. Most exciting. Everyone was expecting a fierce contest and the participants did not disappoint. 9 questions on the buzzer. Plus 10 for a right answer. Minus 10 for a wrong answer. Question number 1. The Perrier Foundation in Thekadi has undertaken several projects of conservation which group has set up this foundation i see i see a bank sing sl minus 10 minus 10 the answer we were looking for was the muttut group and that's the kerala based question of this round muttut group is a good answer we'll move into question number two listen carefully the founder of this company sitting in an iranian cafe was drawn to an advertisement of a cigarette camel camel Cam sorry camel and camel ca he saw the camel ad and he came up with camel this is dandekar mr pp dandekar they are so excited but they are so right minus 10 and now plus 10 back to back icici bank the valley of masks the story of my assassins and the alchemy of desire are all books by and in the news because of a case that's been filed against him Tarun Tejpal is the right answer and TCS <laughs> jumping onto every opportunity that they get plus 10 to TCS this corporate semis ladies and gentlemen trust me is far from over we might just know who's already into the final the first team I assure you, the second team coming in could be any of these teams. That's how close this is. As we move into the last two questions, 
Depository Bank of Zurich is a fictional bank which appears in which global bestseller? Chennai Silks. Da Vinci Code. Perfect. That's 10 points. Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code had a fictional bank which is called the Depository Bank of Zurich and that will give 10 points to Chennai Silks which means we are one question away from the corporate semi-finals. I have no idea what the scores are but I am sure this is going to be an absolutely riveting part. Question number 9. An intangible asset Good TCS. Will. Goodwill. An intangible asset that reflects a business customer connections, reputation and other similar factors. It shows the value of a firm's reputation. Two words into the question, he says goodwill and that's absolutely the right answer. Ten points to TCS and that celebration definitely shows that there's going to reflect on the scoreboard right now. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. But that last question really changed everything for them. They qualified extremely well from the online prelims. A very high score all the way till here. And now they will battle it out with the three other contenders. TCS, Priyambat Patnayak and Praveen Verma will go into the grand finale as, tape, as team number one. And what do you say about a team that decided not to play the last round because they were sure they're already, they've already qualified? Unstoppable today. Can they be stopped by the other three teams in the grand finale? We'll wait and watch. For the time being, the team qualifying in from the corporate semi-finals, Oracle as table number three. With this, we will take a break and come back for that grand finale that we've all been waiting for. That makes him seriously hot. So hot, he has even made it to the Amul holding. The Rajagiri National Business Quiz 2013 held at Rajagiri Centre for Business Studies at their Valley Campus in Kochi saw more than 500 teams participating in the online preliminary rounds in an effort to be among the last 16. The two keenly contested semi-final rounds saw four teams, two each from the student and corporate rounds, advance to the finals. And without further ado, let me call on stage the teams that have qualified for the grand finale as table number one. Please welcome on stage Arjun Krishna and Ashish Vaswani, SIMC Pune. As table number two, Oracle, Mitesh Agarwal and Yagneshwar. On table number three, TCS, Praveen and Priyambad. On table number four, we have Vishnu Santosh and Himadri Banerjee as Christ University. 25 questions separate the top four teams today. And before the previous rounds had set the mood for what the audience could expect in the finals. Today at the Rajgiri National Business Quiz, we'll move into the buzzer, which is the most exciting part of this entire quiz. All teams ready on the buzzer. I'm going to read out the questions from my cards. Question number one, Guide to Life, a V handbook for the perplexed is a book written by which famous fictional character? Dilbert. Minus 10, Christ. Move to question number two. Which business term gets its origin from the Latin for to dip, dip in, immerse, plunge? One word that we're looking for. Don't go for it if you're not confident, teams. It's a minus 10. Two questions down, none answered yet. Question number three. In 2004, Red Bull decided to buy this team. Jaguar Racing. Super 10 points to you, Oracle. Decided to buy this team and rename it as Red Bull Formula One Racing. What was the team? that Red Bull bought. 10 points to you, Oracle, and that reduces that gap a little more. Question number four. Which group's name comes from the French and Sanskrit words for... Avanta. Which group's name comes from the French and Sanskrit words for moving forward or growth and stability? The answer was 
Uh, one third, that's 10 points. Question number five. Skin. Titan perfume. Skin is a brand launched by which Indian company marking their perf foray into perfumes? Oracle! Four questions to go. 20 points difference between the top two teams. Question number six. What term was coined by Wall Street Journal to describe the apparent barriers? Glass ceiling effect. The question was, what term was coined by Wall Street Journal to describe the apparent barriers that prevent women from reaching the upper rungs of the corporate ladder? The answer you gave us, glass ceilings, Christ University, that's plus 10 to you. L capital. LVMH. It's the investment the, off of LVMH. L capital is the private equity fund established by Group Arnold. <laughs> and if we look at the stats right now, they're 10 points behind and we have two questions to go, which means if they answer both the questions, they win the quiz. If TCS answers one, they're safe and they're definitely the winners today. Question number eight. Which English term derived from the French meaning strip of parchment? Escrow. Refers to a contract deposited with a third party. Escrow! It's a tie between Oracle and TCS. One question to go. And we'll know who's going to take that big prize back home. <laughs> question number nine. The last question of this quiz. Vogue. Go for it now. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay. Uh, Vogue Black. TC has hit the buzzer too early. That's a negative 10. Which means... And I'll read out the question I had on my screen. I, I'll read out the question. Vogue recently coined a term in its UK edition called Swags. What was Swags? What did Swags stand for? But ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, it was possibly the most entertaining quiz each one of us has seen. Oracle will go back home today as winners of the fourth edition of Rajgiri National Business Quiz. Fantastic performance. And I hope all of you... The quality of the competition also impressed the dignitaries present. Next time, thank you and good evening. Today, among the audience, there are several winners and losers. The fight has been tough and competitive. However, Rajgiri National Business Quiz has never been about winning and losing. It has been about participation. Whoever has completed has emerged stronger than before. I take this opportunity to congratulate all those who participated as well as those who won. The Rajagiri National Business Quiz is an eagerly awaited event in the country's quizzing calendar. Why would it not be? The competition is amazing, the quizzing fierce, and the prize money, well, we can ask its worth to the teams who did not win.